Hey, I'm Luke Moyle, and today I'll be taking you through my week 11 and 12 breakdown. To start off week 11, I wrote out my abstract where I spoke about which programs that I used, as well as my references, as well as my the potential significance of my project and everything. Um, if you wish, you can... I don't want to read it out here because that's, you know, extremely boring, so if you wish, you can press pause and have a quick read of it. Um, Moving on to the actual work that I completed towards my project was I finally rendered the uh, the walking animation of the character, which I think you know I, I think it turned out pretty good. You can't really see as much of the uh, wonkiness, I suppose, in like the darkness because I I have actually run into an issue with my model or my rig um, is that if you notice, I mean you can notice when I point it out, but one of his uh, his left arm. It's actually, um, I'm not sure when it happened, but the shoulder control um, disappeared and I, I really couldn't find a way to add it back in. Um, so his right arm hasn't got like the full, or sorry, left arm doesn't have the full rotation and movement that's available to the other arm. So it was a bit harder to get it to move in the way that I liked. So that's a, a big issue that I had, but I was too too far into production to <laughs> attempt to... Um, to remedy it, I couldn't. I didn't want to have to redo the rig and the skinning and everything. So, <sighs> yeah, all right. But yeah, I think you turned out pretty good. At least that side is in the dark, so it's not as visible. Um, yeah. Moving on to um, the magical effect. So with this one, um, it is very. Uh, it's very quick. But what I did here was. That I uh, so I did try in my uh, to do another particle effect that was um it was like little particles flying around and going a bit crazy but I, I didn't really like it and I couldn't really find a magical effect that I liked so what I actually did was um I actually stole the fire effect that I used for the torch for the lighting of the torch and I just um I shrunk it and elongated it to the same shape as the sword and um and added a, or changed the colour of it to the pink purpley colour, because canonically in the game that I use him, he uses, he has a purpley pink sort of magic. Um, but, yeah, he has a short summon time on the sword, it sort of appears out of nowhere, and I, I said I, I duplicated the sword, and you actually applied a, um, a mesh light to it, so it has sort of and I enlarged it again so it sort of encompassed the other model of the sword to sort of get that lighting on the sword going as well as on his face um, I think it turned out alright I think I would like to have had more time to play around with some different uh, magical effects but is how it is uh, moving on uh, to sound effects I used Premiere Pro to um, just condense or find a bunch of <laughs> sound effects that I like so um, I found a bunch of royalty free ones. I'm I'm pretty sure they're all like they all said they were royalty free. Um, stuff on YouTube. I I mean regardless, I have everything in my bibliography at the end, uh, recording where I got all these sounds from. Um, yeah, it yeah it took a bit of time to get everything together, but I really 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 you know in week seven I said I was going to try and get in contact with a audio student or a student who knows how to do lots of audio stuff um, because yeah like it is such a huge part of the animation and um, you know I tried my best I changed you know played around with gains and pitches and everything of sounds to try and get them to where I liked but I really couldn't get some of the uh, the sounds sounding the way I wanted to so I really wish I had a collaborated with someone more knowledgeable in uh, in music and sounds um, because I think they would have done a much, much better job than I had. Um, uh, moving on, this is the, uh, the, this is, well, uh, this is sort of the, um, the minimum of what I want to do, because there are still changes which I realise I hadn't done, uh, for this animation, which I'll, I'll talk through while we, while we watch it. Um, so yeah, sort of, at the start here, you'll notice that the bars at the front aren't actually... They just have a basic um, fong texture, so they're just shiny. They don't have any of this rough texture like the bars over here. Um, also, there's nothing in like this other jail cell. 
um, which you'll notice in a later scene, there is actually stuff in that jail cell because I rendered this one, uh, this scene actually a lot earlier than the other ones and I hadn't done all the fixes yet. Um, I was speaking to another student and they informed me, or, well, you know, I didn't think of it at the time, but how motionless he looks in this scene. He looks as though he could almost, you know, be dead. There's no breathing and on his hand there, and, um, it doesn't move. Um, as you can see here, now there are, now there's a, uh, texture on this, on this bar. And, um, in the, uh, oh, come on. In the side bit over here, there's actually another bucket and bed and everything to sort of look like there was someone else or, you know, potentially more stuff going on in that cell over there. Um, yeah. So I think I timed the sound a little bit pretty good there with the, uh, with the, uh, fire summoning effect and everything, but I just, ugh, I really wanted to end my, end my scene with him, you know, the sound of him, woo, swinging the sword cutting through the metal bars and the bars clanging to the ground, but I just could not for the life of me find a good sound, so it sounds so comical and garbage. And this is sort of what I mean when I say I wish I had someone who was better than I who could help me with this sort of stuff, because I really can't get the feel for this end bit right, and it really, it's just, it cringes me so hard. Take a listen without me speaking over it. It sounds like a Looney Tune cartoon. Ooh, I hate it. Um, but I don't really have a other thing I can do that I can that I can think of at the moment. So yeah, uh, this is my quick bibliography. Just wrote, wrote down all the places that I went to when I got all my sounds the other day. Um, yeah. Uh, what's next? Hopefully, I will. As I said, that was a um, that's my minimum expected goal. So I'm going to upload that that last clip regardless um but i am going to go back and try and uh i'm going to re texture those bars for the first scene add stuff into the wall in behind the then the other cell to the left in the in the first scene um i'm going to attempt to do a breathing animation uh and a hand movement when it goes to that second scene where it, it pans up his arm and up past his chest and everything just to give him that little bit of life um i'm really hoping to get that done but as i said that's a minimum so um Oh, that's a that's a extra goal <laughs> that I hope to do. I can always resubmit and everything. Anyway, this has gone on too long. Good luck with your submissions, everyone.